Good morning everyone, it's March 30th, 2024, and this is FSD Beta 12.3.1 on our 2018 Performance Model 3 doing Test Loop 2. So this test loop has two unprotected left turns and a little navigation through a small uh, sub, um, subdivision to see how this beta is handling this behavior. Big star, today it is wet in California. And it's not raining currently, but it has been all night. Um, so we'll see how it behaves in these conditions. In 500 feet, turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Also traffic will be light, light. Um, I, I am ten intentionally doing it during lighter traffic because I need to see how it behaves now before I try it Plum Canyon Road. in heavier traffic. Okay, as I creep up to the stop, the left is clear. I cannot see right, so we got to move forward to see. Okay, we got a car coming from the right, and now I've got a bunch of cars coming from the left. It should not move. So still cars coming from the left now I got cars coming from the right so one more from the left it could go now if I was driving I could go okay it's hesitating too long now I got more coming from the right they're all in the right lane so it could squeeze out now I've got more coming from the left it's sitting here too long I got a car behind me now I'm just pushing it way too long sitting there it was being super cautious which is good In 500 feet, turn right onto Golden Valley Road. This is the right turn lane, there it goes. Thankfully no one coming up fast from the rear that was going to sneak up the right side there. Now turn right onto Golden Valley Road. Nice acceleration. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Detter Lane. Turn right onto nice turn signal early because we weren't going up to the speed limit. Let the people know behind us what we're up to. Little slow making this turn, but there's a pedestrian car here. It's taking its time going around this person because she's not even paying attention to us. A little too slow, but okay. Kind of dragging its butt here. Not sure what it's doing. It knows it needs to go over there. I don't know why it's stopping here. Now turn left onto Sansama okay. Circle. So uh, I'm just going to give it a tap. No, i got to disengage and keep it going. It's just stopped there. I tried tapping the accelerator. It wouldn't move. So Now turn left onto Clementine Drive. So this is the little subdivision. I'm just going to clear this and send us back to where we were. Now turn right onto Detter Lane. Okay, there we go. That's the exact path I want to take. Perfect. Now it should move nice and slow in here. We're in a residential area. This is not a major street. Turn that off. We don't need wipers right now. Okay, it in should just turn feet, here, which I, I know this build well. Good. Circle. Doesn't need a turn signal. Keeping it right, good. That's much better than previous builds. See how it handles this turn to the right. It should just go without a turn signal, nice and slow as it comes around the corner. See if there's any pedestrians. Not too bad. Now this, now this one, it should signal and look because there are possibilities of cars coming from the left. Now turn right onto Satsuma Circle. There we go. Excellent signal. It should slowly creep. There's no stop sign. And it is all clear to the left. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, just being nice and careful. We got an open door, so someone's in the area that's walking around their car. Yeah, really good. Much improved in this little now neighborhood. Now turn right onto Detter Lane. And it's 
Yeah, it's still kind of coming down the middle here, but it's fine. There's enough room beside me for a, a car coming in. Nice roll out. There's no stop sign. It's got to tuck over to the right. We got an oncoming car. In 500 feet, turn left onto Golden Valley Road. Now this left onto Golden Valley Road is a bit of a tricky one. It's going kind of slow here. I'm just going to give it a little tap. Um, it, it's an obstructed view with the, the white picket fences here, um, and it has to creep out North and look, and it kind of has to put its nose in traffic and make a really quick decision. Now this is a quiet day. I've only got I've got two cars, three cars from the left. I got two currently from the right. I'm looking through the fence line. Okay, after this car, we can. It's clear left. It actually could go right now. It's kind of hesitating. It's out. Okay, there we go. Now that was okay today, but if there was lots of traffic, it had its nose out into the traffic coming from our left. It's also making a change to the right. We need to make a left turn up here. Let's see how this plays out. It shouldn't be in this lane. There's, this is a right turn lane. Okay, now it's switching back. So, poor lane change selection, unnecessary lane change. Feet, turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Now it should pick the right left turn lane. No, it's picking the inside. Oh, it's switching its spine. Okay. No turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. That's good. At least it picked eventually the, the outside left turn lane. Nice acceleration there. Kind of slow for the turn, but it's okay, it's wet. Okay, now it should accelerate up to 50 or at least with the flow of traffic. Okay, so it's starting to drop off here and people are pulling away. I'm just gonna give it a tap. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto via Joyce Drive. Now, let's see if it'll get in this right turn lane. I'm pretty confident it will. Signaling. It's just kind of thinking now, about it and right waiting. There we go. Nope, hesitating. There it goes. I think that bike lane to turn lane confused it slightly. And there we go, right turn back to our start point. So that's uh, test loop two with FSD beta 12.3.1.